right, question uh, 2.42 here. It says to reduce each of the resist uh, circuits, sorry, in figure, to a single resistor at terminal A and B. Okay, so we're going to work on A first. So this is, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? We're just uh, simplifying resistors over here. Uh, nothing new, right? Uh, this is B, and then here we have it. Okay, so we know that these two are uh, parallel to each other, so it would be 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30, and uh, right, so this is 60, so 3 plus 2 over 60, 60 over 5 equals uh, 14, right? Wait, is it? 16 over 5, I mean, sorry, 60 over 5 is 12. Yes. 60 over high is 12. So now uh, it simplifies to 12. So R, uh, R of EQ is 12 within these two. And then 12 plus 8 is 50. I mean, 8 plus uh, 12 is 20 ohms, right? So these, this whole thing, this big thing is uh, 20 ohms and then now we have another parallel uh, right in this case so 1 over 20 uh, plus 1 over 5 that is um, 4 over 5 5 over so that would be um, 20 over 5 would be 4 ohms right so uh, da -da -da, this equals to a and b uh, with 4 ohms of resistor in between. Okay? And then this one over here, actually the recording, uh, I'm going to move this so I can see it. Yeah, the recording uh, icon is blocking the numbers. Alright, so this is a little uh, more advanced than the other one, but uh, there we go. We have 2 here. Um, I have a 4, I have a 5. Here's B one two and then here within the parallel there's two a uh, one series right ten and then the four okay so remember it's always important to figure to simplify the series w within a parallel first uh, before you proceed right it's always important to figure out the uh, series okay fantastic all right so this is eight Right, and this is 10, 5, and 4. And then uh, the teacher should teach you this. I mean, it's kind of uh, easy uh, to think about is that, like, if you have two parallel, then it's 1 over, uh, there's even the equation, right? And uh, the sum of all that, right, equals the uh, 1 over r equivalent okay so you have multiple you just one over all of one over the resistance plug them all together and then take the uh, reciprocal of that number again then you get the re reverse right so this is eight so eight and eight is four 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 that's two so this whole thing uh, is two resist two ohms you should see the the little trick I did though over here right so when you have two parallels resistors and then if they, they're the same uh, same resistance then it's just a half of that, right? So 8 and 8, which is 4, 4 and 4 is 2, okay? Over here, we can't really do that. So let's say 10, uh, 5, and 4. The, what do you call that? The lowest common factor, I think. The lowest common multiply. Yeah, or something. It's 20. So this is 2 over 20 plus uh, 4 plus 5 over 20 over 20. And this is what 11 right 9 11 yeah oh 9 11 uh, this and so equals to you have to take the reciprocal of that so it's 20 over 11 and uh, fantastic now we have just a series so tw 2 plus 2 uh, plus 20 over 11 I think it's like 1 point uh, something 1.89 no, sorry, 818181, repeat, right? Okay, so uh, you add these all together, it should give you 5.81, 
5.8 or 5.82. Okay, uh, resistance ohms. So simplify this. It's equivalent of having one resistor and the, with a resistance of 5.82 ohms. All right, cool. Yep, yeah, this one is uh, is pretty simple. I uh, I'm glad the uh, the question didn't add a bunch of Kirchhoff laws or or current distribution or voltage distribution laws to trying to make it a, a lot more complicated. It's just simplifications of uh, parallel circuit. Uh, you know, as you do more, you should be more and more fluent uh, in just translating it. And like with even with just like doing your minds, right? Doing solving parallels. So yeah, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, good luck in your studies and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.